Hi, this is Nick. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a date filter to select week to date, last 60 days, or any specific date ranges. I've designed a video with slides instead of a live demo to make it easier for you to follow at your own speed. Please feel free to pause the video anytime you want as I explain each step and maybe take some screenshots for future reference. Step 1. You need to create a new table using the formulas listed in the screenshot and replace the highlighted columns with yours. The new calendar table looks something like this. And then on step 2, we need to connect your original table with the calendar table we just created in step 1 using the date column as the unique identifier. Also make sure the cross filter direction needs to be both. Step three, let's create another new table called date selection. Please pause the video and take your time to input all the formulas exactly as shown in the screenshot. There's no need to make any adjustments for your data. And now on step four, we need to connect the date selection table we just created to the calendar table from step one. Again, using the date column as the unique identifier. So the relationship between the three tables will look like the screenshot on the upper left corner. And of course, the cross filter direction needs to be both as well. And on step five, let's download a new visual called Chiclet Slicer and follow the steps from 6.1 to 6.12 to create a new filter. And for step seven, on table date selection, which is the one we created from step three, create a new measure and name it as date slicer filter. And on step eight, let's create a new filter for the date. This is the one we're gonna to use to select specific date ranges. Step nine, this is a very important step because we're gonna set up how filters interact with each other. For instance, step 9.6 will make sure that we can only select specific date ranges when custom is selected. And on the other hand, on step 9.7, the date filter is grayed out when the selecting time period is other than custom. Step 10, we're setting up the interactions again, but in this case, we will make sure the date filter will not impact the time period filter. Step 11, create a matrix or table or a line chart as you normally do. And the last step is a friendly reminder, because every time you customize the date ranges, you will need to make sure that you clean up the selections for the filter before selecting the last 90 days or other selections in the time period filter. Otherwise, the data won't be accurate. 